Hello fam, just coming to you, living for the love of you. That's what I got playing in the background from the eyes of brothers. But we can't play it too loud because they will censor us, all right? But we are living for the love of you, all right? But we're coming to you with another salacious story from Atlanta Black Star. The uh, journalist for this particular article is named Jasmine Alice. Okay, she must be a correspondent or a journalist over there writing for Atlanta Black Star. So let's give her salutes for another salacious story that we're bringing to you on the Real Housewives Atlanta. Um, past cast members and current past members. And she gives us the title of Bring Her Back. Fans demand Phaedra Parks return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. After Portia Williams speaks on their relationship. Now that's the title she give us. We're going to go right on into it. You know that's how we do it. I read it or I narrate it and I give my opinions and I ask, hey, what say you family about this particular article? But we're going to go on and get right on into it. It says Portia Williams and Phaedra Parks have been through their fair share of drama, whether the Real Housewives of Atlanta cameras were rolling or not. But it seems that Time and space have somewhat helped clear the air between the two. Williams joined Bravo host Andy Cohen during an episode of Watch What Happens Live and caught him up on where the relationship or lack thereof between her and the former cast members of current uh, the, uh, the former cast member currently lies. And we all know Portia and um uh, Miss Phaedra Paws used to be freaking frat. You know, they were inseparable. Especially after what happened with um, Candy. And um, she kind of turned it on Phaedra and siding with Apollo after Apollo went to jail. For his little inf infringements or his little inf uh, part he played with uh, scamming people out there. Okay. But we go back to the article. It says fans will recall the explosive season nine accusations that involved Parks allegedly or allegedly that Candy Burris and her husband Todd Tucker planned on drugging and assaulting Portia and another mutual friend. Phaedra passed the information along to Portia who took it at first hand knowledge resulting in a reunion show blow up that would go down in the housewives hall of fame yes it was yes it did and yeah it was explosive because carlos king one of the i guess the writers or producers at the time over there as well as miss pauls had to exit the building okay and they were like don't pass go keep going keep going go on <laughs> before we decide to put you both in jail but anyway that was just my sidebar uh not in this particular article okay um the relationship, going back to the article, of all involved were severed and are still in the process of being repaired. I've gotten an apology at the reunion and then shortly after that we chatted for a bit and I got an apology. She told Cohen when asked about whether she and Phaedra had reunited. But we haven't had a full conversation about the situation. I think just over time we let it go. Okay, yes, Portia, let it go, because you better be glad you ain't in jail, or you didn't face no time, or, you know, you better be blessed that you, if you really needed this show to stay in the limelight that you are accustomed to in the uh, platform of how you want to live your life and how you want your livelihood to be in a certain range or a certain revenue of monies, uh, yeah, you are somewhat um, I ain't gonna say blessed because sometimes you don't want to mix mess with being blessed. You see what I'm saying? There's two different avenues. So we're gonna say your career choice that you chose to do, kudos that it didn't get taken away from you because then you had to come back and live like an everyday normal person that go to work, work hard, have that American dream, and it's not pitted against any foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, fake, shitty behavior or uh, classified as a profession of a job career that you, you chose you know you either want to side with doing that as a career choice or you want to go and get a respectable well-mannered uh well-disciplined type of career field choice such as being a lawyer doctor uh what do you call it uh a entrepreneur uh anything that shows merit and notability in someone okay 
and 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 definitely didn't carry no jail time. <laughs> okay. All right. But anyway, we go back to the article. It says, you know, we still chat here and there. It's just how you doing? How are the kids? How's PJ? But we haven't been able to have that full sit down, which is fine. She said, I'm good with it. I mean, yeah, I know you're good with it, Portia, because, hey, if you even really had to sit down with Phaedra, Phaedra really wouldn't have a good excuse for throwing you up under the bus, uh, making you seem like you're one of these dumb people out here that couldn't see the forest for the trees when she was giving you information that she knew was fraudulent. She knew you probably couldn't connect the dots quick enough uh, for her to implement her plan of action of what she was doing to you at the time. But you don't grow up a lot. I've seen you grow. So I'm proud of you. And I don't think you would really let people be out there using you like they did when you first came on the show. Okay. But again, going back to the article, it says fans chimed in on the conversation in the comments and think um, someone said, Annie think he's slick. I keep telling other bloggers, Fei Fei coming back. That's why him and Nene keep bringing her up. They need them ratings because I'm about done with Eva being pregnant every season. I'm like, thank you. Hallelujah. Nobody wants to see Eva once again. Uh, birthing babies and that be her storyline for this season next season and any other future seasons no uh -uh. We, don't, we don't want that okay we can put you out just like we did claudia jordan she really wasn't bringing anything too much other than trying to fuss with nene and other people you know it just is what it is nene's going to be uh, a target as well as king is going to be a target to bring the fussy fired type of drama with no storyline attached to it. Okay. But that's just my sidebar. Going back to the article. It says Andy is con uh, contemplating on bringing Phaedra back. By asking about her. Bring her back to Shook Candy and Kenya up. Okay, and then it goes and says Cynthia Baylor also joined the chat and she shared her thoughts on Nene Leake's recent comments suggesting that Eva Marcel is the most boring housewife of them all. I've been on this show 10 years now and there's been situations with people on the show. Uh, there was one point that you even said Andy that you guys were thinking about letting Portia go. You didn't, thank goodness. And she's like one of the fan favorites now. Bailey responded. I'm just saying now. And I'm like, Cynthia, hush. Because we definitely have been telling uh, the network. we you They need to let you go. Because you don't have a storyline other than being up under straight through Nene's behind. And now you seem like you done did it. This, what do you call it? it uh, Caltipode it. I had just you stuck up Kenya's ass too now as well and Candy anybody else you could think you could be stuck under to secure your job and with you bringing in this definitely um uh, foolery fakery fuckery uh fraudulent storyline with you and Mike uh that's just a, another whole video within itself if I chose the time to get into it, which I don't. Okay, I find no interest in that. <laughs> but I'm kind of Elijah. Elijah, come here. Elijah, come here. But um, yeah, basically, I'm kind of leaning on the understanding too. We need Phaedra back. Okay. Just to, just to stir up, just one season, just to see what she would bring. Because if Candy's getting a spinoff, hell, go on and treat her like they did Kim Zosiak. Give her maybe three seasons trying to do the darn thing on her own. Because that's what I'm thinking. The reason why they're giving Candy her own mm -hmm. show is because they want to eliminate her and have her be like Kim Zosiak is doing on Tardy for the Party. That little sitcom spinoff that she got that's still being relevant out there in the streets. I don't know really who's watching it uh steel but it's becoming an old series just like the real housewives of atlanta is coming to be an old series and if they don't shake things up we're getting some new people in here that we can uh what do you call it attract ourselves to then it, it's gonna be like her you either hit or miss it or whatever and if they didn't have kenya and nene and them you know both going at it from each episode and season it really wouldn't be too much of anything because nobody else could really hold up the torch of really feeling like they can go back and forth with one another and it'd be okay. 
okay? Because it really has been candy, not candy, but Kenya and uh, Nene holding it down when it comes to drama. But it has gotten so stale and so um, predictable, we ain't even liking them anymore. You know, it's like, okay, how long y'all going to go up with this? Get something else in the storyline to keep fussing about. But this mess about you called Brooklyn a buffalo. No, Kenya, she called you a buffalo in heart. And in true heart, she used her words uh very badly by bringing in the baby girl, uh by saying she's having a buffalo, but she was really talking about you being a big fat buffalo. But I can understand when somebody says something, y'all going for what that person said. Y'all ain't trying to look beyond or 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 get another perspective on what she really was trying to say. Y'all going back, well, no, this is what she said, and in actuality, she did say it. Okay, but. Nene ain't got time to be fooling with people's kids and getting on their nerves. She have time to get on your ass, pretty much, Kenya. And that's what she was doing. Whether y'all want to say she was tipsy at that next to last scene in Greece or not, okay? Because I think, yeah, she probably was tipsy, but she was feeling that way sober, okay? But um, it just is what it is. She was going to let the alcohol take control of her or seem like it's taking control of her so she can add ratchet. And throw peanuts and popcorn at uh, Kenya Moore. <laughs> but anyway. Yes, we need to bring Fraser Brad. We need to get rid of Candy. Let Candy have her own show. Bring somebody in to replace Cynthia. Uh, if Portia don't step her game up, you know, it might be time for her to go to. It just need a fresh cast. We need something else and some guest appearances for some of our old school. Okay. Uh, but that's all I got for this particular video. Y'all get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all felt about the situation. And uh, we'll f fly freely with everybody engaging with one another in the comments. Just be respectful. And definitely when you hit that like button, hit that share button, that subscribe button, and definitely comment. Okay? And I will see y'all next video.